I think it was a risk for us on the steering committee to include no negative breast cancer. We recognize that we would need to probably enroll a larger population, perhaps wait for slightly more uh, mature data with longer follow-up to see the true effect in the no negative population, recognizing perhaps you don't see quite as high of a peak as you do in um, node positive or particularly four plus node positive. So I think this patient population really is more reflective of what we see in that 60% of uh, breast cancers are actually one to three nodes, not four plus nodes, and a greater proportion now are no negative than no positive. So I think, um, you know, uh, 400 milligrams was selected for two reasons. When you look at actually the pharmacokinetic data, 600 milligrams had very high PK levels relative to what we saw with standard dosing of abemocyclib or palbocyclib. So doing the actual stimula uh, simulation, reducing to 400 would still exceed uh, PK levels that uh, were above biological effective dose and likely higher than those achieved for um, inhibition of CDK4 uh, and 6, particularly 4, compared to the other CDK4 6s. The other thing we recognize is adherence is a real issue in early stage breast cancer, including with endocrine therapy.